Hello everyone! Welcome back to another stream! We got endeavors to do. And marks to get. Because we're, uh... We're not doing so hot on the mark front. We, we've got... we got a lot of work to do. <coughs> so... I should also use some more fleet marks, because uh, apparently donating in the armada doesn't, doesn't matter in this fleet. <laughs> That's where a good, like, 30,000 of my donations came from. I'd like to get into a fleet ship, which is why I'm, you know, kind of pushing for it, because we're closing in on our first free, uh, fleet, uh, thingy. I say closing in. It's still a good ways off, but, like, we've got Omega and Discovery both at four. Omega would be active right now, but I am one mark short. <laughs> I don't even know how this happened. <laughs> Just one mark short. Um. Okay, I'm going to actually test a theory on defeating Borg on the ground. Because there's a handy patrol over here for the Mirror Universe. To fight Admiral Janeway and her Borg. I'm probably not going to play through this entire uh, patrol. Because there's not much need. We just need ten Borg. But if the Borg here count, that's pretty neat. They'll save a lot of effort. I mean, they probably do. I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, they count. Okay. Well, this endeavor's easy then. I gotta remember to always crouch because of my armor. <laughs> I get such a big bonus to crit severity for crouching. And we're done. And oh hey, we have the Endeavor I mentioned much earlier in the series while I was doing the uh, the Nimbus arc. Uh, to defeat Gordon Nimbus. This mission, well, this endeavor, is really annoying if you're trying to actually do the Nimbus missions. Which is probably why they removed the Nimbus missions from the standard episode list. Even though it's kind of an important story note, at least in my opinion it is. It's more important for um, the, the Romulans... But it establishes to everybody that the Romulans are working with the Alachi who are working with the Iconians. Without that information, that just kind of comes out of nowhere later. That, oh, oh, the Romulans are working with the Iconians this whole time. Like, you know... <laughs> I wonder if this will... Ooh. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Gotta find those again. Come on, game. Where are they? There we go. Let's see... I think this one will do it. There's a reason we're doing these, and it'll become apparent soon. Um, I think both of these will also... ...give what we want. It's one of the big bonus- one of the big benefits bonuses to being KDF aligned, and I think that's literally all of our security. Well, maybe not. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, because there may be more. I mean, we could still scavenge a minefield. So make sure we're still autopiloted. Man. 
Man, my phone is not having a good time. The thing's old. It's like... Well, I say old. It's like... Four or five years old, maybe? It's not even that old. Okay, I don't think we're going to find any more missions like that. Yeah, I'm well out of the area. Basically, you need... You start down here, and you just kind of follow the border up to, like, about here, and then you turn over, and then you come down. And that's where you find most of the missions. I may as well just say it. It's to get contraband, which you can then turn in five at a time for 2,000 dilithium. Dilithium ore, but still... 2,000 dilithium. Not overly useful, but hey, it's something. It's more dilithium. It's more something that, um, basically, if you want to have a relatively easy time just getting 2,000 dilithium every day, just have a couple KDF alts once or twice a day, fly that path, basically, do all of the duty officer missions to gather up contraband, and then just put them in your account bank if you have it. If you don't have an account bank, I buy one. <laughs> I know it's kind of pricey. Which is also a thing. Um, if you're playing fully free to play, I could swear they gave this out for free now. I'm pretty sure I got it for free. There's this funny thing in slots and services. I think. No. Items. Uh, no? Where the... Cryptic, where have you hidden this away? Where have they hidden this away? Should, okay, it is in here. The energy cap, uh, energy credit cap increase. I could swear they gave this away for free. Guess they don't. I don't remember ever buying it, but I probably did, and just don't remember. I have the memory of a P. Um. This should be something you should save up for. Once you buy it once, it's bought over the entire account. It's about, I think it was like, I think it's 500 zen. Which is not terribly long. You can get 16 zen per day by just selling your 8,000 dilithium. Like, I am not going to do this, obviously, because, well. But at 500, if you sell your 8,000 a day, you get 16. Or if you're in a fleet, I hit 6, but you can get 17 a day. That, you know, and yes, that's me transferring dilithium from one character to another. Ignore that. <laughs> I dump almost all of my dilithium onto my main. The only exception is the stuff that uh, Tamara here has, because it's just hers, and she gets nothing extra. But yeah, that is something you definitely want to look into doing. Alternatively, if you don't want to buy this, but want to basically have more than 15 million EC, every time you save up around 11 mil, Go and buy a lockbox key. Because with lockbox keys, you can basically trade those for their equivalent value. Because they're lockbox keys. They hold a consistent value. They're under 15 mil. And, you know, you can basically just buy them and hang on to them as you're saving up the Zen to buy the energy cap increase. Or you can just put ten dollars into the game and buy it and not have to care
That is another alternative. What the hell is that thing? Okay. It feels so weird having people behind me on this planet instead of four cats. <laughs> I went a whaling, kind of. A lot of the EC I spent on my watchers on my main was actually EC I had just saved up in the attempt to buy the tier 6 Voth carrier before basically giving up on that because I didn't realize how much EC I could make just running elite ground queues. <laughs> Like, in two days, and I'm not even terribly optimal on my main, I've made around 44 mil. I haven't actually made that because I haven't sold the, uh, the, the consoles yet. But, I've got the, uh, the materials to make two of the weapon power engineering consoles. Yep, someone's using the Alachi Walker, which I honestly do not understand why people use. Now, that not understanding does come from not knowing if there is an infinite use version. But the version of it that I know of that exists that you can purchase is, uh... It's in here? I'm not even sure if it's any of these. Actually, I don't think it is any of these. Okay, never mind. Unless it is in here. I just saw a Lachi stuff. And these are all consumable. These are not worth it. At the very least. I've actually seen some people using that Lachi turret, so... <laughs> and yeah, this, this is the problem. Um, well, there's a Gorn. He's... Nearly dead. Um, let's see. Change instance. What do we got? Nimbus 1 has two players on it. How much do you know about that one other player is over here killing the Gorn? Now keep in mind, there is literally a mission. Okay, there are Gorn here. There is literally a mission. That is done on this open world shared zone. Where a relatively low level Romulan player will have to kill these Gorn if they want to do all of their story missions. Because you need you need to kill enough of them to get all the little doodads to unlock the satellite. Now, I know the argument will be, oh, well, they could just skip the mission. It's like, you're missing the point. Like... <laughs> if they want to know what is going on in the story, they have to do the mission. Otherwise, they will be missing parts of the story. That's, that's kind of the problem. You know what? I'll take the Yamak sauce. <laughs> Guys, could you stop killing them? We don't need to kill any more of them. I'd like to leave, actually. Because I'm done. We now need the Dyson Sphere. Now, I'm going to see if I can prevent my wrong Tribble from eating the Yamak sauce by giving it to this guy. We need this sussy one to eat the Yamak sauce. Because that will then create a better triple. And then we'll need more Yamak sauce. <laughs> so much EC. I don't need the EC. But you know, the fleet will get the EC. So, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But basically for, um, well, I think of it, for, for grinding contraband, the missions you want 
are basically anything that looks like it's screwing over the Federation. Like, that's... <laughs> that, that's the missions. So, like, quite literally, Bullion Freighter, that's Federation. Human Freighter, hell yeah. Tellarite Freighter, yep. Though I don't think the... Not the human one probably does, because it has the possibility of one item. This might... No, no, this won't. This won't. Because it has no single item drop. So the Federation Refinery won't. This might. This will also get us some prisoners. Uh, which we have no use for. But, you know, ignore that. Um, I'm also going to see. Do I have... Yes, I do. Hey, I do still have some security officers. Do I have... Yes, I do. It's Gorn. Well, I may as well do it because... Eh. He'll be blue. Blue, I'm a D, I'm a die. Um, wait, wouldn't... Well, no. Yeah, because blue quality engineering. That's also probably blue quality. Yeah. He'll be busy for two days, but, you know. Might get something out of it. It's a Gorn, so not really. Uh, it's just XP in that category at this point. I don't think the Vulcan Freighter does, no. Research facility won't either. You're basically watching for a one special item. That is the important thing. Just to, uh, to find. You know, I could get some of these placeable heavy turrets. They're nothing special, but they're a device. They're a button you can press to place something down. And scavenge minefield is garbage. You, you never want to do it. There is a um, scavenge wrecked battlefield or something like that. That one could give contraband. Now we need this so that we can then go up into space. If I remember what buttons to press, because it's not... Uh, it's... This one? No, it's leave battle zone. There's three buttons to leave that battle zone. One of them will take you back to space, one will take you to the Undine zone, and then one brings you here. Now, the trick is going to be finding... Finding enough Voth. Which is kind of where the Undine Battle Zone would probably be better. Because the Undine Battle Zone, once it's completed, a shit ton of Voth show up. The issue there is dealing enough damage to actually um, get the credit for any of it. Well, we are at three. Oh, hey, that's someone flying the Voth Battlecruiser. Holy shit. Well, this will actually probably work. Holy shit. It does exist. Oh, they're up there. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
This may be foolish. Oh, there's someone attacking this one already. Which means I probably won't get to attack any of the little shits there. So I'm going to just come after this one. I'm being controlled. There we go. <laughs> I'll just phase shift, thanks. Fight, 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 fire. Well, there's some Dyson marks, and we uh we got almost halfway to where we need to be. Huh. <laughs> this battle zone really could use more. Um. More targets, especially because I don't imagine. Nope, there's only this one instance right now. Hello, Chris Nephilim. Indeed, that's kind of the point of the series. Lots of challenge. I feel almost bad for having rushed through it so much. Currently, not so much. Who do you think I am? Someone who's actually got equipment? <laughs> This setup is definitely not one-shotting things on normal. Um, I mean, I'll sure I'll be one-shotting some things. Those are small targets that I'd be one-shotting on advanced too. <laughs> and someone's already cleared away all of them from here. Man, I really wish that the, this just wasn't an endeavor. It's so annoying. Uh, or at the very least, that this zone wasn't so bloody massive. There's a bunch of Voth ships, but they're friendly. When your beams aren't fire at will. <laughs> like, literally, they're not fire at willing. Now they are. Okay, game.
See, I would never ignore the endeavors unless it's like the universal endeavor to kill the dinosaur or something. Like that one, ignore it. There's not much point. Like, even on my main that deals really good DPS, I'm probably still not able to deal enough DPS. Yeah, let's... Let's see if maybe this will spawn some more. That was one ship. I'll need Iconium probes. I need Voth. I need nine more Voth. Do nine of them just want to come out and let me kill them? That'd be nice. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that doesn't sound like there's going to be much to do other than push stuff around. Ooh, that's not working properly. Uh, there's a mission here. Do not see where it would be for, so... Just gonna move on. Tell you now, this area is just so full of Voth. There's just so many of them. Hello, Frisk. That's just so many Voth, like, you should have no problem doing this endeavor. No frisk. Oh, there's a small group of them. Five more. Come on back, little guys, before you fly off and despawn because you're too far away. <clears throat> Nothing sucks more than having like an entire like twelve max starred hangar pets just despawn because they get snagged on some geometry somewhere. Hey, that'll work. Let's 
fix up that peregrine a bit. Well, that one's probably going to be dead before I can get to it. Also, the game has stopped launching my hangar pets again. I love how it does that. <laughs> Never does that on my other carrier, but that's probably because it actually has benefit to launching hangar pets after I've already got a full rack of hangar pets. Let's but say, wow, there's like none of them here. But there is some. Gravity well. There we go. Like, I wouldn't overly mind this if it was just destroy Voth ships. Like, this for this endeavor. But the fact that you have to do it in the battle zones, like, that's the annoying part. I mean, I, I personally just wouldn't buy any of the COD games because they've been in the same game for the past decade, but, you know. I mean, you can play Prop Hunt in Gmod. Well, you know, my hangar pets, because they were on attack, stopped following me, and now most of them have despawned. Wow. Oh boy, more Dyson marks. Oh hey, I can just leave. I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna do that. I already, I already did that, but okay, I'll, I'll take more Dyson marks. Okay, that's, I'm not gonna argue with you, game. And more EC. Why? Why, game? Why just EC? I don't need EC. Well, the answer there is because most people need EC. Um... Right, that's the training manuals. Yeah, there's our endeavors. We have a perk point. Let's see what we got. Junk. Kinda junk. Not as junk. So I guess we'll go with the not as junk. Because I don't really have any science builds. But more exotic damaging space does kind of help everything. Like even this build. Pretty sure. This might be affected by that. I don't know. <laughs> it might be. Uh, 
Hell have I now. Determining what is and isn't exotic damage is not exactly an easy feat. Especially because some things that'll be like radiation damage will be exotic. Other things that are radiation damage aren't exotic. And there's no real distinguisher between them. It's just, eh, this one is, this one isn't. Figure it out. <laughs> I suppose I haven't even checked if I've been... Possibly. Nah, I'm still asleep, Lieutenant. Now, I should set up that, uh, the Dyson stuff if it's not already running. I just thought of that. It was not. The Dyson equipment itself is pretty garbage, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fleet ship token, if nothing else. Uh, but yeah, um, if once you have enough contraband, you basically come to a security officer and then you can turn over contraband five at a time for 2,000 dilithium over 20 hours. It's not a fast way of getting extra dilithium, but it's something. Uh, it's a lot of people who swear by this, which means if you're, uh, if you don't care about this 2,000 dilithium, you can generally sell five contraband for around 300,000. So, you know. That's pretty neat. You know, I really don't need over here. Where I'm going to be doing something... Well, no, I kind of need between these two areas. Because I'm going to try something kind of stupid. Maybe. We're not in the worst way. I wish I had some starship trades. Um, do I have any? No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to look over these again because I have gotten a lot of upgrade sensed. Yes, I thought I'd have this by now. Okay, uh, let's see. Don't really need halt regen nanites. I will take this because more crit chance. It's only a max of 6% at 200,000, and we only have, I think, around 80,000, but that's still almost 3%. Now, I'm going to just start at the top. I mean, this is something to help us stay alive, but I'm not sure how much it's actually helping. Uh, let's see. I mean, well, I suppose we could take more hull capacity, which at this point would mean more crit chance. Um... Yeah, let's actually do that. Because as mentioned, right now, that does mean more crit chance. Now, ground stuff. Let's see. Ok, 
Okay, that's something we want. Where is... there it is. More damage while aiming. So now we're up to almost 300 DPS. While aiming. You know, I think just for survivability, uh, it only occur once every 15 seconds. Uh, I could easily die in those 10 seconds, so never mind. I was about to say we'll drop the 5% uh, bonus damage for that, but now. Yeah, I think that's about the best we got for now. Still no starship traits, because no starships with traits. That'll be the hardest thing to get a hold of. Um, we can get some through, like, some traits through maxing these out. We just need to max these out, which will probably take a little while. I don't think maxing a strategist gets us anything. So it might. Okay, no, it does. Well, that is something. It's fifteen percent bonus all damage. That is that is something. Okay. Uh what is our crit chance at right now, by the way? I always check this. 12.2. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I should open this. Oh man, a Protonic Polaron! They have Brock, which means... Kinda garbage. Uh... I mean... It is a 25% chance on criticals to deal a bit of extra Proton damage. Which Proton is a damage type that is... Basically something most things just don't resist. So that is decent damage. The issue is it's a chance on a chance. Like, if this was just a flat 25% chance to deal that extra polar on, this would actually be a really good proc because 25% of the time dealing extra damage would be nice. That would work out to a good DPS increase. 25% on top of, let's say, 50% crit chance, that is... That is a low chance of getting any extra damage, and you're locked into Polaron. So... I mean, it's not awful, but there's just better weapons. If you do like your Polaron, or if you're playing, like, a Gem Hadar and you want to use the Gem Hadar set, and, you know, roleplay Gem Hadar and go ahead, it's probably one of the best Polaron sets, but it's Polaron. <laughs> Polaron itself is not very good, because it's just not been given much. But let's actually get going. Um, I may regret this, but let's, let's see what I can do. A lot of the advanced cues 
you just can't fail. So even if I feel like I'm complete garbage and a waste of space to my team, we can't fail anyway. So... <laughs> Well, I say that. You can time out. So, like, that isn't a, oh, just queue for advanced all the time. No, you'll want to actually... You'll want to actually at least have semi-competent stuff so you can try to help, so that if you run into a group of four other people also in not great gear, you don't just time out, because now you've just wasted half an hour. <laughs> But like, this is why I want to be halfway between the med officer and the ship repair. Because I'm probably going to die. And that's going to mean injuries and ship injuries. Personal injuries aren't that important. There's very few of them that actually matter for us. But ship injuries, those will matter. Well, this will probably be over pretty quickly. <laughs> Someone running advanced hangar pets on a carrier probably has some carrier stuff. Gotta love the power creep of this game, though. That Orion carrier there, not only is tier 6, meaning it has, you know, a trait, But also has an extra weapon slot over me. Like. <laughs> and actually has engineering consoles. Um. Man, that Dideradex has places to be. Jesus. Okay, nobody has gone the other way, it seems. Okay, one person has, but I will turn around and help them. They probably don't need it, but... Yeah, I'll just do this, thanks. I mean, I'm definitely not dealing bad damage. So there is that. Like, I'm definitely far from meta, but, you know. Can't help but feel this would already be dealt with if that guy had been shooting it. But, you know. There you go, guys. Have a fire on my mark. Big weapon battery. Yeah. 
Just gonna throw the probes that way. Now, let's see if the people here understand how to fight her. Though I'm not actually sure if hangar pets count for getting too close. You basically want to stay away from her. Because if you get too close, she cloaks. A lot more often than if you keep at distance. Okay, looks like everyone here understands that. That doesn't mean she won't still cloak. Just, she cloaks a lot less often. Damn. Um. Yeah, I definitely need Omega Mercs. So. Bam. Now, 105 more Mercs. Let's see. Well, we could use some new Kara. I think that's running, but we could still use some new Kara Mercs. Now, let's get our Borg running. Nope, new Kara wasn't running. So. <clears throat> As I believe I've mentioned, there is actually stuff in the new Kara one that I do want, so. Oh, hey, more loot. Nah, it's not worth it. I don't need EC brain. <laughs> There we go. Critical success, five contraband, and a bunch of other crap that we don't need. Like that right there would, we could now set up the security officer thing if we had any desire to, which we really don't. Uh. It is nice having so much inventory space. <laughs> Remember when our inventory ended, like, right here? <laughs> and, like, I was constantly like, oh, I gotta keep cleaning this out. Well, it's a little down here, but, like, still. So nice. Thank you, Alienware. <laughs> yeah, before I continue, I need coffee. So I'm gonna go grab some coffee.
Alrighty. Let's do more advanced, because that went relatively well. I felt like I did something. I killed some probes. <laughs> I basically killed a cube by myself. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people get spooked of advanced. And, like, I will say, if you don't have decent ground gear, then don't click random advanced. Or if you don't have decent space gear, but have good ground gear, don't click random. Just sort by advanced, whatever it is. Okay, apparently I just joined one in progress. I have no idea what I'm doing. Where is everybody? Uh, Right, it's this one. That's a lot of Borg. I think people are just rushing this. I'm gonna die. I've been assimilated. Yeah, I have no idea what direction they went is the problem, so I don't know where I can safely run. And they're just rushing it. Because, like, they're all beneath me at the moment. Somewhere. I guess they went right. Yes. I guess they went right again. Yes, they did. Oh boy, it's this one. Oh, I didn't even notice it was this one. Hopefully someone else does the consoly bit. I don't want to do it. Ah, oh, they adapted. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Why did I have that off? Oh, they've adapted again. Yep. I couldn't heal because... I was remodulating. Oh, my- Oh, I'm all the way back here again. Okay. This is very much one of the cues. So I do not understand why people play it. Because, like, it takes so long.
Like, Into the Hive could be done by now. And it's still Borg. Like, if you're just after Borg, why... Why? It'd be really cool if I could get, like, a respawn point. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, whatever one more buy clearly is not done. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm gonna die again. Oh god. Why do people play this operation? Okay, at least there's a respawn point here. I don't know why they kept doing just a- just beta 1. If beta 1 was going to be the right thing, like... the thing. Trying to figure out where the hell everyone is. This is such a maze. The Borg are supposed to be efficient. Okay, they're down. How do you get down? Okay, here is a down. Ow. I'm gonna die again. Especially where I need to remodulate again. 
Man, I should really go and do Quark's Lucky 7 and get Lex throwing knives. I really wish people would stop picking up the white things. They can just ignore it. They're garbage. They are literally garbage. Oh, we missed something somewhere. I don't know this freaking thing. I mean, I don't mind lockboxes dropping, but... I mean, the reason why they drop is that, um... Oh boy, Yamek sauce. Yeah, I'll choose neat on it. I don't freaking know. Guys, y'all probably played this before. How did none of you know what to do? Oh no, I was assimilated. Ow. <laughs> I think this is literally the- And the respawn point's back here again. Have fun guys, cause... I'm all the way up here. Like, the reason they drop is because there are times when it's not Infinity Lockbox. And unless things have changed, when it's a specific lockbox, you can't get infinite of them from the cash store. Yay, we're done. I'll take Fleet Marks, thanks. I'm... Gone. Yeah, that's because only the Infinity promotion is going on right now. There is no specific lockbox event going on right now. Uh, they just did a safe galaxy not long ago. Give me a minute here. Me, uh... Windows, stop trying to be helpful. Uh, a safe galaxy started in January 2023. So that's this year. I'm not sure when that ended. Because the wiki is not saying.
Stop trying to eat plastic. I know you're there. Get up in your window and be good. Yeah, my cat. She wants attention. And feels the only way she'll get attention is trying to eat plastic. All that tends to get her is put in timeout. I wonder if I can figure out when it ended. Uh, it ended when I actually can't tell. Uh, it was still going in March. Why is no one saying when the lockbox? <laughs> Guys, how how difficult is this to just say when that when that one ended? But from what I'm seeing, it was still going in March, so it went for a few months. They usually last... Yeah, about three, four months, so... There will probably be another lockbox in September. Because that seems to be roughly the... the time frame. So, next month. Not long from now. That is when you can expect the next lockbox to at least have a chance of showing up. <clears throat> no idea. They, they still have a lot of ships they can do, so... I should heal these injuries. Neither... Ugh, voice crack. Neither of them particularly matter. Well, muscle strain definitely doesn't. Radiation burn... That is a damage resist reduction, but it's so minor. Like, it's minus two to all of your energy resistances. That we are getting 87.2 into. <laughs> like, yeah. Keep this open as we uh, heal these. Wow, that was such a change. And muscle strain is melee damage. Um, before we continue, because I'm positive, I'm going to get drug into another of those. Do, 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 do. Is it Iconian? No. New Frontiers? No. Future proof? Gamma Quadrant. Gamma Quadrant. I don't want to do this mission, but we could use these. <laughs> Honestly, these replace the, uh, the, the T-Rifle. Because these do the same thing it does, but better. So let's come do this. Gives us an anti-Borg weapon. But like, that's even a thing of, like, with them not releasing KDF ships, 
There are so many ships that they could still even just do a refit of for tier 6. Like, oh, I can't pull it up here, but actually I think I can because they're premiums. And they may, no I can't see the. I can't see them in here. But like, there's a fair few of the uh, tier 1 to 4 Birds of Prey that just never got a refit. Like, they could easily do those as tier 6s. They would just need to give them a trait. They don't even have to make it a unique trait. Just give KDF options for a lot of the Federation shit. I hope this is running. I'm probably going too fast for this mission. Okay, no. Those winnings are coming out of your cost. Secret maintenance fee. Cheap <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to actually figure that out. Then we can access the system from the console at Quarks. All oh, right, this. Well, okay then, uh, maybe it's this one that's wrong. Seriously? <laughs> I think that's the fastest I've ever done this. She's heading back, Ron. Get out of there. <laughs> Relax, everyone. It's done. I'm on my way back. Try not to look conspicuous or guilty. Okay. This is why you should never trust a Ferengi. Totally got all that. Intelligence all officer. Right. I mean, this is a nice little mission. Like, it does have character and personality to it, and literally, it is a mission you can play regardless of your equipment, because you don't take part. <laughs> you play exclusively as the Ferengis, with all of their various equipment and kits and such. Gonna get ready to hide this just in case it looks like it's gonna crash. I keep saying crash, disconnect. Okay. Here we the cook looks like getting in is the easy part. The well, I suppose our ship matters. Which is where a ship with terrible inertia like this is probably a bad idea. Because you don't want to get too close to the probes. We're too close. They can see us. Get back. Yeah, I'm working on it, Nog. 
Jesus Christ, man. This ship has terrible inertia. Forget why they're fighting the Feklari, but Almost they're there. fighting the Feklari. Full impulse, got it. And Nog has a standard Federation issue phaser rifle. Here, and, you know, reroute power to shields, which is a good skill. I can unlock these doors. I send in the good. signals to the door. We'll have to disable to security and engineer. <laughs> the good news. Uh, math. So we need 47. Wait. But that would only be 37. Wait, no. I need to... Uh... Math. Harold, don't worry, I can handle this. Forgot you can't auto fire. It's the one, one drawback to this mission. You can't. You can't auto fire. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't just hear you talking loudly, Quark. Head right here. Okay, if I if I just like click some buttons, will it be like, hey? Thank you. Well, I think our equipment does actually still matter. Nope. No, it doesn't. We've made it. This is main engineering. <laughs> Security's offline. We're good to go. Can we drop their rear shield for a moment? From the other console? Why? Quark's beaming in some insurance. Back. Front. You're on. You'll see. Front. XCA. I'm on my way. 
I swear, this guy just never not crits. It's probably just the quirk of his thing. Right, yeah, you're supposed to do this. Could probably have killed them all still. I actually wonder if we can see. Yeah, he does just have 100% crit chance. Now, if only. If only we could have that. Still no explosion. No. It's kind of the point. This mission has a lot of personality. Once Brunt finds her face, time for me to earn my share. Watch and learn. And gambling device. I've got your back. The item that everybody uses. Oh, Quark can't aim. Got it.
But like everyone uses the gambling device because it's you, you know do here? It, it, it's that 10% crit chance and severity for yourself which is great I mean it's it's far from bad but like five rainbow tribbles you know, is a lot more crit chance for everybody I thought you meant rescue operation I can shoot you later if you'd like no it just wouldn't be the same. Ha! I'm impressed! That's uh, one word for it. <sighs> she left some guard in the trophy room. It's okay, Uncle. We can handle that. It'd be a lot easier to handle them if Quark could aim. But, you know, push the button all I, all I want. Quark don't aim. All right, now, let's find the package. It has to be in one of the display cases around the room. There's a lot of things here, and there is actually a, uh... A thing for looking at all of them. So I'm going to. I can an accolade. That's the word I was looking for. Mm, is that all of them? Should be all of them. Package located. Sword of Kalos. Now we need to retrieve it. I can. I can just steal. A I need this to be way lower. And now Quark activates his insurance. Remember this? A little something we picked up on Karemba. It calls the Herc. Right. So every Herc in the vicinity is now basically here. And there goes the device for turning it off. We're almost there, but we lost the sword. Quark to Madrin. Madrin here. You'll be happy to know the package is safe and sound. I'll be sh and look. You know, there's one ship I just thought of that's Federation design that I would not mind owning, and I'm not sure it's in the game. Because I imagine people, I'd see people flying it if it was, because of how stupid it is. That being, I think it's the Tokyo class. 
the warp capable ship from the original series era with a single warp nacelle attached to a single saucer. <laughs> it looks so stupid. It is the epitome of... Um... Bye guys, have fun. No, I'm not here. Fight amongst yourselves. Guess I'm gonna have to actually fight. I was hoping to avoid fighting swarmers. At least I can do this with Swarmers and just make them not be behind me. Which is what Swarmers love to do, even though that barely worked. Freaking Swarmers, man. Yes, Frisk, I know you're there. You have food. You have water. Your litter box is clean. You have treats. There's nothing more you could need. There's other people you can go and bug. All of my fighters just vanish. Yeah, I don't really care. Based on the sky. Uh, now, no. I'm reading traces of. It's made of Herc. A four thousand year old weapon made of a Herc carapace. Um, please up considering. And there we go. It's not the longest mission. And Lex throwing knives are really the only thing worth getting from it. These are just kind of garbage. They're just generic weapons. Lex throwing knives are the only unique reward here. The Catcher Soul White is just garbage to anyone that's not Jem Hadar. And even if you are Jem Hadar, it's not the most useful thing. Yeah, we'll equip those over that. And there we go. Don't care. <laughs> Let's just get rid of this catcher cell. It's not worth having. Now, hopefully... I think Vit is an offshoot of Spa. So I think we just have the same. I should have moved the sus out. Breeding Tribbles is annoying, because it, it's so much micromanaging these tiny little fricks. Now, Romulan Marks. 
Pretty sure we have Romulus running, but yep, we do need the marks. I do have some fleet marks, so I should make use of those really quick. I really don't want to chill on DS9. I don't know the layout of DS9. I don't know where this will take us. I don't remember where the Azure Sector is. Let's go Azure Sector. So wherever it is, it's closer to our station than DS9 is. Okay, yeah, that's really not fair. Going to Konos is probably the fastest, but... Now we can do board ground stuff a lot easier. That's something I really should have done sooner, is go and get Lex throwing knives. And quite honestly, as much as, like, my main has the, uh, the rifle, like, j just get Lex throwing daggers, so throwing knives, they're better. They're just better. Like, sure, the, the, uh, the sniper rifle has more range. But you're losing so much damage. Thank you for following, Richo friend. And like, a thing to note, and I'll, I'll actually have to swap characters to show it. This does not have the wasted, um... To, to affix these you you gain that you have access to all three of them which quite honestly changing this off of crit hit is probably a good idea um i'm going to briefly change characters to show what i mean by the other the rifle has a wasted slot which i think it has multiple wasted slots though maybe it doesn't and maybe i'm just silly and this will tell me. Uh, right, it's in my inventory. Yes, there's a wasted slot. This is how it gets around shields. It's one of its uh, affixes. Which, like... Mm. <laughs> I mean, like, you might be looking at this and be like, oh, well, those DPS numbers don't look that much better, you know, that, that much different from the knives. Those knives were marked 12 and have almost this DPS. This is Mark 15. This is also, with all the modifiers my character is adding to the weapon damage. <laughs> Which, albeit, isn't much, but it's still something. Like... Let's go again and hope for no board ground, but hey, we have something for board ground now. Like, this DPS is almost the same. Honestly, these are probably just better to use all the time than our uh, plasma stuff. We could change out our traits because of that. There are two active. This is the Borg show. More Borg. I sure do love how literally everyone playing Advanced plays Borg cues. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. I don't get it. <laughs> Why do y'all play Borg all the time? Yeah, I'm also going to do something here. Let's lock these. Let's adjust this down.
Get us some more weapon power. I mean, I get the board cues are easy, but like, if you're after a specific mark, you're better off clicking that thing instead of Borg. Like... Because, like, people have to be actively clicking on these cues for them to show up so much in random. Okay, did someone go the other way? Yes. Everyone else went this way. Go, my little fighters. This is the bonus also to carriers, is you have so much extra range. We're definitely doing pretty well for how how little amount of time this character has been around, like We're already doing pretty good for ourselves. Yeah, my gravity wells are not good. But, you know. Who needs good gravity wells? Okay, by the looks of it, there was three people over there. How? How are they not done already? But make sure that gate don't go nowhere.
Go, my peregrims! Yep, there's someone getting in way too close. Bummer. There she goes. The scimitar has been destroyed, but yeah, I'll take more fleet marks. I'm at 75,000 just in here. <laughs> I think that's about the only place I've really donated because my dilithium's a bit important and, well, it's all everything else in this fleet needs is dilithium. And I don't really have duty officers. Like, I have two. Those ones need to stay. If I could buy things from the fleet, that'd be great. But yeah, I need to be commander first. Of which, you know, y'all know this character has not been in any other fleets other than this one, and, uh, 116. Uh, I kind of dislike it when fleets do this. Uh, they didn't used to do this so much. Like, at most, you would have to earn, like, 50,000. Just to show, hey, you're willing to donate. But, like, that was about it. A lot of fleets it used to just simply be, you can buy things right away, because... It's not much incentive to donate if you can't buy things. You know? You're just spending resources to get nothing. I swear, if we get that same ground board queue again, and that just becomes our alternating... Because that's happened to me at times. Yeah, Azure Nebula. What is this one again? Oh, it's this one. Oh yeah. This is one that really I want to keep my peregrines on escort. Otherwise, they're going to... Oh hey, a mine layer. I 
Hello, Frisk. Our time here is limited. Stay focused, plan your attack, and save as many ships as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this, this to list over here. Yeah, you know, this is actually gonna be a good test. How how much better will I do here? The Tholians are using their energy webs to trap your ships. Target and fire at the nodes connecting the webs. The answer is I'm still not doing great against the Tholians. I mean, it would help if my guns would fire, because they weren't. But, you know, phase shift. I need to phase shift. I need to phase shift right now. Come to me, Nimbus. Gods, why are the Tholians so difficult for me? Like, Jesus. I mean, it would help if, you know, my hangar pets would do things and my guns would fire when they're supposed to. But, like, jeez, I should not be struggling against them. They're not, and, like, they're, le they're less dangerous than the Borg. <laughs> And yet I can kill the Borg, no problem. <laughs> Hello, Polar Plays. Yep, been Star Trekking for a while. Yeah, they've got that. Game, if you could launch the hangar pets, that'd be great. Ah, there's a falchion. I'm gonna come see if I can help with the falchion, at least a little bit. It looks like that's not even needed. Well, I can help release the falchion. Uh, that'll be helpful, at least. Jesus Christ. My man, you need to be on elite. <laughs> A falchion dreadnought is escaping. Like, I just, I do not understand 
why the Tholians give me so much trouble. sitting over there. <laughs> Okay, my ship hasn't taken any damage at least. Okay, I'm guessing this is done. Does the Lisette need help again? That was loud. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna die to these... Um... Yeah, there goes all of my hangar bets. Uh... Like, Jesus, where did my health go? Like... I mean, I'm dead, so all my resists are nothing at the moment. But my resist shouldn't be awful. My kinetic and physical probably are, but... Yeah, I got about 40. Protect me, Nimbus. Why can't I... The moment I click over... The uh, fire at will is the moment I'm able to overload again. I don't... don't understand. Well, there's a falchion. And it's not by a Captain Sit Around, so. Ow. Okay. Oh boy. Can I phase shift, please? 
I think I activated it and then instantly deactivated it because when I pushed it, it didn't work. Thanks, game. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Unless, maybe... No, I'm gonna hit something, aren't I? No. Come on. Come on. Come on, ship. We can escape the spawn death. I do not understand why I'm doing so poorly here. Like, I just, I don't get it. There's nothing special about the Tholians. <laughs> Honestly, they're probably, like, what I do know of what the Tholians do gimmick-wise, they're probably one of the weakest factions. Yet, for whatever reason, I am having my ass kicked by them. Like, my stats just aren't applying. Like, that's kind of what it feels like, of just my resists don't, aren't applying. Oh no. I don't have fire at will ready. Okay, I'm free. Well, we've gotten a fair few points. I mean, this is not helping at the moment, but I didn't have that while entering. Um, let's see... Well, between the two, I could use Nukara more, but I, yeah, I want the fleet marks. I just, I don't get it. Now we'll go with Temporal. How did I forget to do that? <laughs> I have so many logs to read. And hello, Romulan Republican Force. Let's actually start clearing out this stuff. Man, if only I actually needed EC for anything. Uh... Twenty thousand to go. It's actually something I want to do. I actually... Can I... I just thought of this. I want to see if I can possibly set up duty officer recruitment on Konos and New Romulus. Where I am Romulan, I am both factions. So if I can gain access to the Klingon Academy, then I can probably set up the duty officer stuff. Need to repair my ship. This is actually important to repair.
I mean, basically anything to do with your ship is important to repair. A lot of the ground injuries just are not. So, you know what? I'm going to go to the shipyard. And then go to the shipyard, fix my injury, then go see if I can get to the academy. Yeah, like, this is minus weapon power, which does matter. Even though that is only two, it does actually matter. Yeah, I think those are male consoles. Um, I cannot. Okay, so I can only do it on New Romulus. Cool. I was kind of hoping I could get more duty officers, but... I get why I can't. Now. I need the command center. Pretty sure it's here anyway. And then, yeah, over there. <clears throat> I think. It's bridge officer training. This is the security officer. Bridge officers. Um, it's the person to make a fleet. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, there we go. I think general recruitment. Yeah, general recruitment takes dilithium. So screw that. Um, this does not. This just gives you stuff. It takes two days, but. And the R&D one also takes Stylithium, so it can also stay where it is. Ah! <laughs> Those will take two days to do, but... Yeah. This place is just... There is, like, nowhere convenient to just chill... Because, like, to repair ship injuries here would take going to freaking down the little shuttle bay thing. And that's just too much effort for my liking. If we had access to buying things from our fleet, I have an idea that could help us with surviving. But I need to be able to buy things from my fleet first. And even then, like, I'm not sure how much it would actually have mattered. I mean, it would probably have mattered a fair bit, I guess. Because it's basically to pick up an all-resist console. And put it in place of this one. But 
Okay. We're not doing these anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to use the throwing knives. Um, so, health. Resistances. Why do I have this on still? <laughs> probably because I've changed that before and the game just didn't save it. That's probably what it is. actually see before I dock freaking inertia uh, okay it has not put them back so we're dealing a little more beam damage now it's not amazing damage but it's something I am going to do something that I would not recommend anyone do until... Ah, thank you for following, Willy Billy Silly. Wrong button. Let me just click here. I would not suggest anyone do this until you're actually confident. I am not confident. But... Wait, why is there... Oh, it's because I don't have... Yeah, okay. Let's, uh... My main can do these. <laughs> My main is basically just gun damage. And DPS-wise is around the same point I'm at. As long as I play this carefully, it should be fine. before I uh, do go into those uncue from those I want to buy some more large hypos I do not because I'm not trying to cosplay Iron Man uh, where is that person in this place I am simply doing an Iron Man series, meaning <laughs> if I don't acquire it myself, I don't have it, basically. That I've bent the rules on a couple times, because, like, theoretically I could have had the Carfei Carrier if I was playing a non-Romulan. Literally, even just playing a Federation character, I could have had the Carfei. With a KDF. <clears throat> KDF, I could have had the Carfei. The Romulan, you have three escorts and a Dideratex. Um, go. So I have no idea why my voice keeps cracking. It's just what it wants to do. Yeah, let's... There's some hypos. <laughs> well, I could acquire those myself by opening my wallet. I'm just not using any of the Zen ships I bought before I started this this 
track. And I've just yet to open my wallet. Uh, mostly because I just made a pretty big purchase. And don't exactly have much disposable income at the moment. Dilithium I'm currently keeping to myself. I may change that in the future. Like I'm not using the Dilithium Exchange yet. I may change that in the future. But also right now like... Look at all these Mark 12s and 13s and, you know, I still have a lot of upgrades I need to do, and upgrades are a little more important than a small handful of Zen, so, I mean, look at this, <laughs> like, do I have any, like, even just basic kit upgrades? Yes, I do. I was slightly above... Yeah, I'm at an odd amount. It's not a huge thing to upgrade this, but let's... Blech. Well, it's better. This is what I'm going to be entering Elite on. Uh, I'm going to be such a hindrance. But if this works out, and I can help with these, which these are not hard cues, into the hive's fail condition is everyone dies. As long as I don't die, <laughs> everyone else can carry it. Minor instabilities does have a fail condition at the very beginning, but it doesn't seem to have one past that. So as long as I go where there's already two people and I am the third, I shouldn't be the biggest hindrance. Lex throwing knives are good, so I won't really have to worry too much there. Where's Rally Cry? Get Rally Cry back where it belongs. I don't know which I'm doing. I don't want to know. As I mentioned, I would not suggest anyone do this until you have, like, better gear. Mark 15 stuff, at least. <laughs> what I'm doing is very stupid. Like, it is very, very stupid. Do not do as I do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Borg. You have penetrated to the heart of you disconnected. I'm reading. Yep, well, someone's impatient. I don't understand why people do this. It's not like you actually get through the mission any faster. But yeah, I am just going to be focusing on staying alive. That is, that is my goal. That is what I will do. Basically, <laughs> I'm just going to chill around here. Okay, I should actually help push buttons. Oh, shit. Yep. Do not want to get caught in that. Reacting. They are awakening reinforcements. 
I don't want to be a, just a complete hindrance, so. And, you know, I'm not dealing bad damage, so I got that going for me, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I didn't die. Progress. Oh, there's really not much you can just buy with dilithium that I'm that interested in. Other than the Phoenix boxes. <clears throat> At least for just dilithium. The fleet stuff. <laughs> decently interested in that. So many effects. That was a really tasty flank I hit, though. That was nice. Does it feel to have knives thrown right in your face, drone? Everyone's stacked up right here. That is not how these work, guys. The in chaos. The time has come. Attack next you know, it's junk, but... <clears throat> You know, I'm not doing that bad. Let's let's be real. Like, sure, I'm not the top contributor. But like, you know, I'm helping. If I rally cried more, that would also probably be very helpful. I 
Yeah, I've been doing Admiralty. I don't have it running currently because I just don't have the patience to set it up on stream. It just feels like I'm wasting everyone's time as I'm doing it. So I tend to set it up after the stream. And then generally collect it before the start of the next stream. But I have been working on it. What is my damage while aiming? That is some nice DPS. And if only it was possible to one cycle the queen. Oh, that's a lot of boar grain right in my face. Move, please? No. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to have moved, but the auto attack kind of screwed me. That is the one issue with auto attack. It can sometimes just screw you over. Because I would have loved to have moved there, but... Because of how fast you attack... I have to remember to left-click somewhere so I can actually move. It was probably uh, cryo-related. Oh, jeez. I almost just screwed the optional objective. I think we can. Okay. I'm gonna take some fleet marks, because, yeah, fleet marks. I really, I mean, the chance of this stuff being something I need is actually not zero. So. And if nothing else, it's salvage. Eh, it's not the best fleet, but that's what NOP is for. It's a good fleet for gaining progress. <laughs> It's still low level, but I don't care. I am fine where I am. Hey, that is exactly what we want. This component is why I'm doing these. 
Yeah, I, I get that. I'm just making it clear for everybody that I'm ha I'm fine in the fleet I'm in. Let's actually salvage this stuff. So I could definitely use the salvage. Why was it using hypos that aren't on my bar? <laughs> Game. Okay. You do you, game. I also got me a fair few of these. Which, you know, once I start getting... Once I start getting level 5 in some of these reputations, I'm going to start grabbing some reputation gear. And one of the first things I'm going to be grabbing is the... Uh, Assimilated console. Because, I mean, it's a crit chance. It's a good chunk of crit severity. It's weapon power. The other things don't really matter. But, yes. Yes, there are. It's three of them. It's because I was going to breed the damage triple. <laughs> I need to actually set this up. I didn't notice I hadn't set this one up. Nah, they're good for now. Though I have been going for near enough three hours, and I am hungry. And we have had our first major step of progress right here. Once we can start making these consoles, we're gonna be... We're gonna be actually getting uh, some decent damage increases. <laughs> Before I, f before I forget, I am going to actually hop into here and... Oh, I don't have... <laughs> uh... Yeah. That is how triples work. But I also still kind of want the damage boost dribble, because I think that might actually give me a bigger boost than uh, this 1% crit chance one. Let's see, what does this concussion do? Yeah, definitely want to heal that off. But yeah, I think I will end the stream here, because I am hungry. I've been going for almost three hours. So, thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Star Trek. Because it'll probably be that. Though it might be something else. I know a lot of my regular viewers from before I started this series would probably appreciate something that isn't Star Trek. But... <laughs> what can I say? Y'all Star Trek fans watch more stuff. So... I've been doing this more. Plus, I've been enjoying this a lot. So, see y'all tomorrow.